Gunavera decided to avoid the likes of Classic Empire in the Breeders' Cup. Now he finds himself trying to take down the richest race of the year at Delta Downs. Gunavera coming up on the outside. Oh, he's got him. Gunavera has won the Saratoga Special. But dodging the winter championships is no guarantee of an easy victory. Laurent Giroux figured out the best way to guide Thirst for Life to the winner's circle. Thirst for Life chased by Just Move On. Thirst for Life gets it by a neck. And Bob Baffert is flying under the radar with a Colt who's improving with every start. Hot John's the leader, and Hot John will be the winner. A length and three quarters at the judges. The Grade 3 Delta Downs jackpot, Saturday at Delta Downs. Well, $1 million on the line for the connections going in this year's Delta Downs jackpot. It'll go as race number seven on Saturday. And joining us on the line to talk about his chances, trainer Steve Asmussen. He's going to send out uh, Tip Tap Tapazar from that outside post. And Steve, uh, from what I was uh, learning with this race, the outside's actually a pretty good place to be. Well, it definitely can be. Can be. Um, you know, Delta Downs. Uh, circumference of the racetrack a little tighter than most of these horses are used to but there's plenty of run to the first turn going a mile so I think uh, hopefully the best horse will win you know you had a chance to get him a, a race over the track which a lot of the horses in this field don't have that experience was, was that your plan going along to be able to to get him in the John Lafitte and, and get him a race well we definitely ran him in the John Lafitte with the jackpots in mind, but felt that the John Lafitte, uh, from a timing standpoint off of his race at Monmouth and the Sapling, uh, fit in there well. You've won this race before, and you're going back to the guy that you won it with, Gerard Melanson, 2011 Sabre Cat. Did that have something in your decision to, to go with G-Money? Oh, absolutely. You know, I've known Gerard a long time. He's had a great amount of success in Louisiana, especially there at Delta, his home track. And uh, Winning the race, as you said previously with Gerard, made it an easy decision. You know, your your horse got beat pretty handily by Gunavera in the Saratoga Special, but things did not go his way that day. He came back, and he proved himself a stakes winner in the Sapling at Monmouth Park. Were, were you very pleased with the performance on that day? Um, yes, he, he's a nice horse, always shown a lot of talent. Um, I do think that he is getting better with time. Uh, been a very sound horse. He's uh, continuing to physically develop. So he has run some nice races in the past, but I still feel that his best is ahead of him. And he won first time out in a five furlong race, showed very good speed that day. In the Jean Lafitte, maybe what, it was because of the inside post and the trip just didn't work out early, but are you trying to teach him to be able to race from off the pace? Well, I think that, you know, at the mile distance, he's uh, very well suited for it. Uh, he's a good mover. Um, as you mentioned, he's capable of speed but doesn't have to show it. I think with him in the hands of Gerard from the outside post, you let him break and just find what spot you want. Um, we, you know, he has he showed no trouble navigating the turns in the Gene Lafitte. So uh, I'm hoping that Gerard can work out a comfortable trip with him. You know, he is by Tapazar, who himself is by Tappet. What can you tell us about this young sire? I'm obviously very high. I mean, Tapazar's horse won the Breeders' Cup mile for so a Winchell bred Tappet out of a very good family. And uh, I think that Tip Tap Tapazar is, um, will be one of several nice runners for Tapazar as a sire. All right, Steve, best of luck. I know you'll have some other chances on the day as well on Saturday at Delta Dance. We'll see you there. No, thanks. All right. Steve Asmussen, trainer of Tip Tap Tapazar, who would be, be breaking from post position number 10, going for a million dollars in the Delta Downs jackpot. Saturday, it'll go as race number seven at Delta Downs.